Hey, welcome back, everybody. I am Danon Coleman, and you are listening to the AMZ Seller Real Talk podcast by Managed by Stats. And with me, I have Don Hedig from Akrumi. Hey, Don, how you doing? I'm doing great, Danon. How are you? Oh, let's skip to the next subject. I've got a couple of kids oh. that aren't sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I forgot. I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's have some fun. Yeah, let's do it. So, um, why don't you let's start off by you telling us what is a crew me? Uh, what what do you guys are offer, and how does it help your your target audience, which is of course sellers? Yep. Uh, well, we we put together something that is very different, something that's never been done before. So that, that's a big statement, and it's in the yeah. finance world. So you know everything's been done for two thousand years. They might put a different name on it. They might call it this fee, that fee. You know, it's whatever. So we did something completely different. We actually sat down with a white piece of paper and brainstormed what would a, what would be great for a seller from the standpoint of capital. Like how every seller we spoke to said that they needed capital for growth. How mm -hmm. can we help them grow? And you know, we looked at all the loans and all that, and we just didn't want to do the same thing that's been done a thousand times because we just don't think it helps. So we created a program to give the seller the cap capital they need to grow, not charge them any interest, not charge them any fees because we don't want them to think that, well, what's hidden here, you know? So no mm -hmm. interest, no fees. We don't require monthly payments. Uh, there's no term. They pay us whenever they want. Sound different so far? Sounds like free money. Yeah, well, it's not. Person, no personal <laughs> guarantee. We don't take any equity in the company. And okay. we put a, together a really simple program where we earn a percentage of profits along with the seller. They use our money, f literally, they use our money for free and we earn a percentage of profits. And so, so I'll, I'll just give you a real high level just so you can get a feel. Yeah, yeah let's, let's take an act. Let's, uh, let's go through a scenario. You know, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm a seller. I'm doing $100,000 a month in sales and I'm looking to um, move up to the next level. Uh, I'd like to move up to, let's call it a quarter million dollars a month in sales. And I meet Don in, uh, in, uh, uh, Orlando and we, we, we have, uh, one too many, uh, Jameson black barrels together. And then what, what do we, what do we do? <laughs> well, so here's not what a true story. That is a lie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never happened. <laughs> So, so, you know, what we do is we match the seller's capital. So by okay. capital, I mean how much money they have in inventory at cost, plus their um, receivable from Amazon, plus any cash in the bank. So I'm just going to keep the numbers real simple. Yeah, so, let's go uh, by tens. Yeah, I'm going to give you I'm going to give you two scenarios. First one, very high level. So the seller you know, we give them capital. I'm going to make the assumption that they're going to earn the same monthly ROI on it, the money we give them as the money that they already have in the business, which you know, obviously they're going to be using it for the same purposes. Mm -hmm. So with that scenario, the seller earns 100 percent of the profits on their money. And then we give them a bunch of capital and they earn 50 percent of the profits on our money. So if you just think about that, they double their their ROI and they double their profit without taking out a loan. No personal guarantees. They don't give up any equity, no fees, nothing. And they pay it whenever it's right for them. So I'm going to give you an example so you'll see how yep. it plays out. And, yep. and here are the numbers. So let's say they had 20 grand in capital. So inventory at, at cost plus receivables, 20 yep. grand. And we give them 20 grand. So now they have 40 grand. We represent 50% five zero yep. percent of, of the total capital in the business whatever percentage of the capital we represent cut it in half so in this case we would get 25 percent of the profit so okay. how does it work let's say they're earning 10 percent roi on their own they would have earned two thousand dollars on their twenty thousand dollars in capital right yep. so two thousand dollars now on the 20 we give them they earn another two thousand so what do they get they keep 100% of the profit on theirs, so $2,000. They yeah. get half the profit on, on what we you know, gave them money for. They get yeah. another 1000 So they went from $2,000 in profit and a 20% ROI 
to $3,000 in profit and a 30% ROI. So yep. that's the way it works in every situation. Now, the, the second part of this, which is you know the mind blower for people, is instead of taking money out every month, like a lender does, right? You have to take money out of your business and send mm -hmm. it to the lender. We mm -hmm. take that money, that $1,000 that we just earned, and we leave it in the business. The seller determines if they want us to take that money out, we will. We're happy to do it. But 99% of the time, they say, no, leave it in the business. We want to grow the business. So just big picture, and then I'll shut up first because I can see you have another question. So just big picture. You can picture a graph where you have you know, a seller taking out a $100,000 loan or they get success-based financing from us. Yep. On a loan, every month, the money that's in the business goes down because they're taking money out to send to the lender, right? Every right. month it goes down. So you can just picture that stair step going down. And mm -hmm. with us, whatever we earn stays in the business. So the-, the If the, the seller line wants. Above, if the seller wants, and they almost okay. always want. it goes, sure. So the money going into growth goes up every month. Okay. So the seller is always, this is all about growth. So the saying I like to use for people, I like to ask them if they really wanna grow, You know, what's their goal? Yeah. And the saying that I've used in my career that I think is a great visual is, do you want to grow like a man whose hair is on fire searching for a pond? You know, think of that, you know, like, like, are you going to go after it? Like, I know you, you, you know, you go after things extremely, which is great. That's the way I do things. That's what yeah. in business, are you going to go after growing your business like a man whose hair is on fire searching for a pond? And yeah. if you are, then this is unbelievable for, for you. Okay. Boom. So, so uh, <laughs> I, I have to ask then, have you ever had your hair on fire before? <laughs> no, but I've, I've had mine frozen. <laughs> <laughs> well, think, think about Home Alone when Joe Pesci yeah. gets his hair on fire. Would <laughs> yeah, anything so, yeah. have stopped him from running out and putting his head in the snow? Nothing could have uh, stopped him. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I like it. I like the analogy. That's the first, here. Time, first time I've ever been asked that one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. So, you know, as, as a seller keeps the money into the company, that also would mean that one, they boost their, their available cash to, for expansion and you yep. boost your available profits. So it's profitable on both sides. Am I understanding right. that correctly? Yes, but think about it. it. Go back to that example with the $20,000. So in one month, the seller had $20,000 $20, of capital and we mm -hmm. had 20000 Now we earn 10%. The seller has 23000 and we mm -hmm. have 21000 So the mm -hmm. seller is always going to grow faster than, than our account. So over time, the seller gets much bigger. So the pie gets much bigger. And our portion of the pie naturally, just or organically, declines every month. So our profit percentage declines. It's fantastic. When yeah. you look at the numbers, it's it's almost unbelievable. Awesome. All right. So um, let, I guess uh, I would have a few questions for you. Um, are you investing in any specific type of customer? What, what's, what's your customer yeah. avatar? Great, great question. So first off, this surprises a lot of people. Uh, you know, they all assume that we're investing in private label, which they're right. But we mm -hmm. invest in private label, we invest in wholesale, and we also invest in retail arbitrage. Interesting. Okay. Right? So, yes. Can now let's, Can I give let's... you a quick story? Let me give you a quick yeah, story. Yeah, 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 on, yeah. On, this one retail arbitrage guy, just the reason I'm only bringing him up is because I just looked at his account. He came back for more money about two months ago because mm -hmm. he was uh, expanding his business into wholesale at that point. So we brought okay. him a, a great supplier. So now he's got RA and wholesale. So when he came to us, a, wait, wait, wait. Just a you brought him the supplier, the yeah. wholesale supplier? Well, he's done so well with us. He came back for more money. He wanted to enter into wholesale and asked us if we knew a supplier. We knew how good this guy is. So we yeah. introduced him to somebody and put it this way. His first order was over $20,000 and he's probably, up, I don't even know what he's up to now, but maybe $40,000 a month in wholesale. So, so check this out. It, it's, it's, we have so many success stories. So this guy yeah. comes to us. He's earning about $2,000 to $2,500 a month in mm -hmm. RA. 
He's doing great. Yep. A year, just a little over a year later, he's earning over forty thousand dollars a month net profit. His profit, you know, wow. as if he paid us, just what he's earning. Right. Imagine that. And now That's... with his wholesale business, he's probably going to earn another, you know, five to ten easily to start and then grow from there. Yeah. Well, I mean, and you can make you can make much better profit margins than that even on on uh, on wholesale because I mean I've yeah. I've oh, done yeah, it. Definitely. Yeah. Um. Hmm. Very interesting. Okay. Isn't that a, it's fantastic. All right. So let's let's take the private label scenario we've already covered. Let's take a wholesale scenario. I'm primarily wholesale personally, so I have. Well. I keep calling it wholesale, but it's uniquely different in that I get exclusivity to the brand yeah. on Amazon. Um, mm -hmm. And, but That's this great. is a perfect, this, this is actually a perfect example. So <clears throat> a little backstory on, on how I got started on Amazon without going into the nitty gritty details, which I think we had our disc uh, discussion on once, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, in order for me to get started, I, I was I was strapped for cash. I was actually on the verge of bankruptcy and I had to figure out how to make some money. So I knew how to sell on Amazon because I'd been selling a couple of, uh, a, a single vitamin. And so um, I, I would approach a company and say, hey, look, you know, I'm an Amazon seller. I have X amount of experience with it and I'm willing to trade my sweat equity for exclusivity on your product. And by the way, I want it on consignment. So these are the terms that I negotiated with, with the people that I, uh, s whose products I sold. I get it on consignment so I wouldn't have to pay for it until it's so sold. Smart. And I got exclusivity to their product on Amazon. This was before the times of brand registry and before the times of, you know, all the available uh, yeah. uh, programs from Amazon to prevent other sellers and stuff like that. But in one of my one of my manufacturers i'm only selling two of their products right now and they have like 65 SKUs. so mm -hmm. i've considered going all right they they don't want to leverage 65 inventory of 65 SKUs. so what if i came to them with a deal and i come to you and i say hey look you know this is this is what i've got going on i got exclusivity to them on amazon um, are we looking at the same scenario on how you guys fund? Yeah, so we would look at that. <clears throat> and uh, sorry, I'm just sound is off on my end a little bit. But no yeah, problem. we would look at you that. Sound, you we sound good look, on this side. All right, good. Uh, we would look at that. I see what my problem is. It's got to be this. Just give me one half second. There we go. Yeah, no problem. That was it. I good. Pl so plug, plug we, the thing in. <laughs> yeah, I, you know what I did? I, I took it out, whatever, it doesn't matter. Oh, whatever. So we okay. would look at your, we would come to your business and we would look at how much inventory you have now. Yeah. And what your receivables now and your cash position. So let's just say your receivables were, you know, your receivables and your inventory came out to 20 grand. Let's just use that yeah. as a number. Sure. But you say, I need more money than that. And all right, well, how much cash are you putting in the business? Well, I could put mm -hmm. another 10 grand in. All right. So you're going to now have a business with $30,000 of capital on your end. Yep. We'll give you 30 grand. Cool. So now. Good. So whatever, whatever it is I have, you'll match. Yeah. And, and, and what would be smart is since you're going to be buying products that you haven't sold before, is we built an engine that will take those products and we could tell you, uh, you know, how quickly they'll turn over, uh, how profitable they'll be. You know, we can give you some good insights and also spot potential problems with those products that maybe, you know, you know your, your stuff. So you, you'll be able to figure it out. But my um, wife's no, my wife knows my stuff. <laughs> well, there you go. There you go. Everybody needs a good wife. And, yep. you know, somebody, you know, seriously though, we, We'll provide you a lot of information that will help you determine out of those 65 products, maybe there's 10 that you want. Maybe there's yeah. 20 that you want. And maybe there's 20 that you definitely don't want. Yeah. So, so yeah, I, we'll give I, you I'm sure there, I'm sure there's, yeah, I, I'm sure there are a couple of products like w 
we found that with their pricing and, and retail and all that kind of stuff, there's quite a few products that we would make either negative or zero margin on. Yeah. So I've been thinking about actually negotiating a, a new deal with them on overall sales and we just take a cut and that makes it super easy. But, you know, anyhow, that's neither here nor there. Um, let's let's so, talk so, about so, these. Wait, wait, just, just stay with it for a second. So think about sure. it. You just had this great opportunity to increase your business grow your business, expand your business. Mm -hmm. And you had an investor come to you and say, hey, I'll give you the money. Just give me a piece of the profits. Mm -hmm. Like, where is the risk? Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. It's true. It, and, and, and that's a good point. This comes to that age old question. Would you spend 10,000 to make 12,000? Well, everybody answers yes. And not nobody, but very few people go, here you go. Right? That's right. Here's the money. And, and I, I can, I can attest that I'm one of those people, you know, I, I have been one of those people like, what, 10,000 and all, and you'll deposit 15 into my account? Absolutely, I'll totally do it. Forget it, you're not getting my money. <laughs> 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 you know? But, and that's, that's what Amazon ads was for me uh, in the beginning. And full disclosure, I don't even run ads right now, but, and I haven't in, in many, many years, but, uh, you know, I, I also have an established, I, I, I sell established brands. So people are actually already going and looking for the product. You know, I'm not in com competition on for vitamin C, right? right? They're looking for vitamin C from the company that I'm selling. That's but great. Anyhow, I yeah. I love it. Well, that, that, that's what we love about, you know, we love it all. But, you know, look, retail arbitrage, they know when they're buying it that it's going to sell. They're not buying 10,000 units. They're buying, you know, three units, you know, of this, right. whatever it might be. The risk oh. there is very low if the seller knows what they're doing. Wholesale, yeah, so I want to I want to take that up a little bit. Be yeah, it, it, it is similar, similar but it's um, low risk. Yeah, so inventory on arbitrage is liquid, fluid yes. at best, right? Yeah. So, um, Let's say I've got a garage full of inventory. Are you taking that inventory into account when you determine what the what the number is that you're willing to invest into my company? On, on arbitrage, we're looking at the uh, invoices of what you paid for that inventory. Okay. So we're not giving you the money in advance. Typically, what our arbitrage sellers do is they're buying it on on their credit card. Yeah. And then they're send, sending us the receipts. And then, yeah. and when it lands at Amazon, it's got to be an FBA. Okay. They get they get money from us. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. So we want to make sure, it lands, or at a three PL, either way. Yeah. So if this, it's in your garage, doesn't count. Yeah. All right. That that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I, there's got to be some form of risk mitigation for yeah. you guys. <laughs> yeah. One one I mean, one guy uh, out in California, he said to me. Oh, this sounds great. Uh, he goes, oh, I have got, I've got X amount of inventory and everything. And he's telling me all about it. He goes, in fact, you see all these boxes behind me. This is in his home office. You know, Th this yeah. is my inventory. I said, uh, I can't really count your inventory in your bedroom. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can, I can, I could yeah. fill a bunch of Amazon boxes full of trash, you know, exactly. <laughs> just, but you just know, go to those. We, exactly. We've had clients though, that, have had their own inventory, and they know that we'll count it either at FBA or at a 3PL. And they're very happy because the 3PL is so inexpensive. They're very happy to take the, money, the, the inventory out of their garage and put it in a 3PL. Yeah, it, it would costs make them sense. next to nothing. Yeah, that definitely makes sense. I've actually never used a 3PL because I, I, I just go straight to the manufacturer and say, hey, send another however many units, or my wife does. But um, yeah, I, I do know that there are lots of warehouses out there, lots of 3PLs, and they're looking to make a couple of bucks on empty shelves. So yeah. that, that I mean, that totally makes sense for someone in arbitrage that to do that. So yeah, that's absolutely. cool. Um, let's... Um, those are the three, probably the three biggest methods of selling on Amazon. Um, they are, yeah. W w without getting into like merch and handmade and stuff like that. Yeah. Actually, what about handmade? You know, it's a good question. I'm not 100% sure how we've handled that. I yeah. guess 
you know, we would we would have to put some sort of a price on it, some sort of a, a cost, uh, you know, implied into that product and come to an agreement. Well, you know, just thinking ahead how we would probably handle it. Somebody's got mm-hmm. the, these these items. Uh, they're shipping them into Amazon. OK, there's 200 units. It's, you know, whatever, a, a, some sort of a pocketbook that you, you made. All right. Yeah. What, what did it cost you? You know, let's come up with a legitimate, reasonable number. And yeah. we end up agreeing on a number and that's going to be the number for the, that inventory across the board. Cool. And yeah. I, well, okay, we wouldn't so, have a problem with that. Yeah. Good. So you're, you're open to other scenarios of, of sales then it sounds like. We want to see people grow. You know, I, yeah. I, I've built many businesses. I've started, you know, many different companies in many different industries. And I am a big fan of people that go out and put, put it all on the line and, you know, bust their ass and take the shot. And if we can help them grow, man, I love that. We, we yeah. just got an email, you know, uh, about a week ago from this guy. Hey, this is great. Uh, I hit $100,000 earlier than I've ever done by far. You know, it's all due to a crew me. Thank you so much. Like things like that. That's what it's about. This one guy, yeah. private label. I see him at a, a show and he, he comes up to me. I never met him before. I spoke to him on the phone initially. He goes, yeah, my first year in business, I did 142,000 uh, revenue. The second year, I did 144. Then I reached out to you guys, and it was so different. I was a little concerned. He goes, but mm-hmm. Don, I, you know, after talking to you, I was comfortable. So I decided, what the hell, I'm going to give it a shot. He goes, I shot up to $400,000, and now I'm at over 600000 and I'm on my way to a million. And That's it's awesome. all due to you, what you guys did. It's fantastic. You yeah. know, you net. And these people, I, I have so many people that have come to me and said, I never could have done it without this pro- program. Never. You know, uh, retirees who lost their retirement and start their business, but they don't have any money left. Yeah. And now they come to us and we get match their money. And, you know, the, this, the, this couple, you know, I, I just think it's interesting. They lose their retirement. Great people have, you know, very little money. They've got to live. So yeah. for 18 months, they took our money. They went from $9,000 in revenue, okay, $9,000 yeah. over 18 months to, I think it was $140,000 in revenue. Wow. And they never made a payment to us. They never sent us a single payment. We never asked for one. And in that, those 18 months, they took out of the business $115,000 to live. Yeah. So they were able to build their business, live, enjoy life, grow their business at the same time and not have the, the overhang of, you know, having to pay a lender. In the 19th yeah. month, they sent us $2,000. Then they sent us 3,000, then 5,000, then 10,000. So I called them, I said, you know, congratulations. It looks like you guys are really killing it. You know, I assume you're gonna be paying us off sh- soon. And they said, no, no, we're actually not making any more payments. I said, really, what's going on? They said, we just were flush with cash. We've done so well. That we, you know, instead of leaving the money in the bank, we figured we'd pay you down. Your profit share comes down, which is what we tell everybody. And they go, in about three months, we're going to come back for more because we're going to be ready to grow again. I'm like, beautiful. And they're still with us. Three years later, they're still with us. That's awesome. Yeah, I I do have to say that for... For all, yeah, exactly. For for all its faults, Amazon is still a phenomenal model to where you can go from rags to riches. And I personally have one of those stories of going from rags to riches where I'm on the verge of filing for medical bankruptcy, right? And then and then we went from in in let's see, it was uh, about twelve months, I think. We went from being riddled with medical debt to completely debt free and wow. traveling the world, you know? Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. And then it, we had children and children yeah. are like <laughs> super cute anchors. <laughs> anchors not so bad. No, That's no. Pretty good. I love my anchors. Yeah. <laughs> I hope so. You know, I got to tell you, you know, I have such respect for what you did, you and your wife, you know, thank you. Not for anything. So many people get their back pushed to the wall. I've been there. I've been in, in yeah. a business I had that I ended up turning around, but I ended up losing so much money over about a six month period after making millions for years before, but then losing a ton that I was almost out of business. 
and I had yeah. to make some tough decisions. And I was very concerned. I'll never forget it. Still living in this house. I live on a nice lake that flows into the ocean. And I, you know, looking out, thinking my kids are not going to grow up in this house. And it was a sad mm -hmm. day. And that day I made decisions that I have to get tougher and I have to do some tough things. And I did. Yeah. And I turned it around. Three months later, we were back to, to par. We were, you know, breaking even. Three months after that, I was making over 50 grand a month. And six awesome. months, it just kept going from there. Net profit, you know, yeah. and then well over 100 grand a month, you know, but you get to those points and, you know, you can choose to give in and, and collapse or to come back and fight back. Yeah. And I love that. Yeah, me too. Uh, matter of fact, I, I, I take my life experiences as as lessons. They they're not always awesome, you know, and and a wise person once said throughout all eons that's life right and yeah. uh and but the thing is is that if if you in many cases you can just go well it can't get worse from here so it's got to get better you know but you have to kind of just toughen up and and get with it um but this podcast isn't about that and and how we've we've come uh made it into success from from our failures but I think people it, appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. I, I've I've told my story to a couple of people, and uh, I didn't realize. Like somebody reached out to me the other day. They listened to my podcast, uh, not this one. Uh, who was? It? I think I was on uh, Carlos's podcast, and they said they listened to the podcast and that it had really inspired him. Like, holy crap, really? My story inspired me? That's <laughs> awesome. Thanks, man. It's like somebody that had had some similar situations in life where they they uh, they went from a point of stability to a very instable, uh, unstable point in life and, and made it out. So, you know, and, and these things happen. Like life can be a roller coaster sometimes and, and, the, down, and, and the downhills aren't that fun, you know, <laughs> unlike the a roller downhills coaster. Downhills lead to uphills. Exactly. So anyhow, I, I think uh, anything else that we should discuss on the podcast? I, I think we're uh, I think we pretty much covered in terms of how a seller can can reach out to you. Well, how does a seller reach sure. out to you? Sure. So, uh, you know, the company name is Accrue, Accrue Me, A-C-C-R-U-E-M-E dot com. And you can go on there if you click um, get a funding offer, I think is what the, t the term is. You'll see very quickly, we ask you about 10 questions. You'll answer in two minutes, literally, like, you know, how long have you been in business? What's your inventory? We'll ask for access, so developer access. We'll ask for your CPUs after that. We'll pull down your inventory and ask for your CPUs. We'll be able to get on the phone with you with a, a, a firm offer, go over the exact situation, the exact deal, find out what you're looking to do. Are you looking to grow? If you're just looking to get money to pay bills, we're not the one for you. We're looking mm -hmm. for growth. We're looking for people that really want to grow, like their hair is on fire. You know, <laughs> like, and, yeah. and uh, I also suggest people connect with me on LinkedIn. So it's my full name, Donald Hennig, H-E-N-I-G. And, you know, you'll see my background, all the different things that I've done. I came out of retirement to do this uh, because I think it's such a unique opportunity to help people grow. And uh, I'm always communicating with people. I'm not one of those people that you reach out to on LinkedIn and, you know, you never hear back from them. That's, you yeah. know, I, I love helping people. I love people. So reach out. Let's have a conversation. I'm happy to help if I can. Cool. All right. Thanks, Don. And thank you for being on the podcast. I'm glad you came on. I'm glad we finally got here. This was, yeah. what, yeah. four or five. Oh, crap. I got to do this. I got to do that. And, uh, good effort, yeah, man. So, good effort. I appreciate yeah, it. Exactly. This has been fun. <laughs> yeah, I really awesome. do appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. All right. Thank you very Thanks, much, man. everyone. Um, if you want to reach out to Don, LinkedIn or accrueme.com. And I'm Danon Coleman. And with us was Don Hedig. Thank you very much. See you on the next one.